Hey, hey, everyone. I'm Stephanie Mullen, aka Final Cut Steph, back with more free 4K effects just for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and use impact lights from Rampant's film and light category. And these effects are so crazy popular, they have been downloaded almost 3 million times. So let's have a quick look at the impact lights before I show you where to download and how to use them. So now that you are excited about adding impact lights to your video content, head on over to 4kfree.com to download. That's the number four, the letter K, free.com. Once there, all you need to do is enter your name and then enter your email address and then click here to download. And if you've come here before, if you, when you click on this, it's gonna automatically redirect you to the free download page. If you've never been here before and you click here, you're gonna to need to go to your email address and confirm that you signed up and then you'll be redirected to the free effects page. And once on the free effects page, you're going to see this. You're going to see all these products that we're giving away for free. They're all 4K. They're not watermarked. They're yours to use. Download news today in your videos. So go ahead and download as many as you want. And we're talking about impact lights. And you'll find that right here under the film and light category. And to download these, all you have to do is click on this button that says click here to download free effects. And it will start downloading. You can also click this other button right here. And this is going to take you to the product page. Here you'll see more information about impact lights if you want to purchase more impact lights or just see how we use impact lights in our promos. Now before I show you how to use these impact lights, I first want to point out that these effects can be used on a Mac or PC. And also I want to point out that these effects are MOV files and can be used in any editing software that reads ProRes. I will be showing you how to use these effects in Final Cut Pro 10, but feel free to stop this video here, go download the free effects for yourself, and then start editing in the software of your choice. And if you're looking for more training, Head on over to our YouTube channel and see all the training we have, including training for Adobe Premiere, Avid, HitFilm, Resolve, and so many more. So let's get started on how to use these effects in Final Cut Pro 10. And after you download, you'll have to unzip all your files, and then you're going to get a folder that looks like this. Here are all the impact lights, and you actually get 11 impact lights in this, in this project, which is amazing. And they're all super pretty. They're real light shot by Sean and myself, so they're... Real is always better, it looks so good on footage. Okay, so how do we use these? Well, first we have to import them and we're going to import these just like any other video footage. So if you don't already have an event, you're gonna right click, create new event, and then stick your name in here just like that. Put, you can put in here impact lights, you put in here whatever you want. So name your event, whatever you like. And then what you're gonna do is bring back up your uh, impact lights. You're gonna highlight them all. You're gonna drag them in and you're gonna drop them. Very, very easy. And now all of the free 4K effects, all of our 4, 4K impact lights are installed into Final Cut. Super easy. All right, how do we use these on our footage? Well, all we need to do is come down here and look at our project. Now I wanna point out before we start anything that this project is an, is an HD project. It's 1920 by 1080. The project's HD, but our effects are 4K. So you're gonna have a lot of room to play with your effects, but you can definitely use 4K effects in an HD timeline. So let's try that. So here we have this first clip and it's this really cool surfer coming through. Let's go ahead and add an impact light. So let's go back to our folder. It says impact lights. And then we're going to choose one and I'm just going to scroll through, scrub through. I like this one right here. So let's go ahead and grab it, drag it down and drop it. That's our very, very first step. All right. The second step we need to do is we have to come over here to our inspector and we have to blend this light on top of our video. How do we do that? Well, we change the blend mode from normal to screen, All right? That's the first thing. Then the next thing we have to do is come down here to spatial conform. These are 4K files. So if we change this from fit to fill, the file is going to be fit into our HD frame. If we choose fill to none, it's gonna turn it into the 4K size. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second, but so let's keep this on fill for right now. I'm gonna roll this back through. And look at that, instant impact light. You can then work on the adjustment. Say we wanted it to be where he hits the water right here in front of us, and we want that to be the brightest point. So I can put a mark here, and then I can go through my impact light and say I want it to be like right here, right? That's where we want our mark to be. So let's move that down. Let's see how that looks. And you can play and move these around all over the place wherever you want. So that looked really awesome, just like that. So whoosh, nice. Okay, and that's our first impact light. So it's very simple. It's literally Drag, drop, blend, change the size. Let's quickly add this to our next clip. So here we have this really cool uh, skier doing a flip here out off the mountain. So let's go ahead and add a uh, impact light to him. And I'm gonna come up here 
And we're going to scrub through these. I'm going to get one of these purple ones because they match my snow. So let's just start with this one. Let's drag it down. Let's drop it in. And we're going to go up to our inspector and blend. So change our blend mode from normal to screen and then our fit to fill. Right. And if we roll that through, look at that. That looks really nice. All right. Before we go any further, I'm going to talk about this 4K size and I want to show you, I want to illustrate what, how this is different. So I'm going to zoom out here on my project, just like that. Maybe go a little bit more, 25%. And I want to do something right now. I want to click on my HD clip and I'm going to click on the transform box here. And I want to show you our frame. This is an HD pro project. So you're seeing the HD frame size right here. If I, this is our, our current clip that we've highlighted right here. There it is. If I now click on the 4K, 4K clip, you're going to see that it fits exactly in there. Well, you said it was 4K. Well, it is. Remember that spatial conform box? If we come over here and change this from fill to none, that's the 4K size. Okay, so that's how much bigger it can be. And now you have ultimate creativity. You can reposition this. So maybe you don't want it to be in a certain place. Maybe I only want that purple color at the top. Right, like this. Just like that. Let's roll that through. So it looks like it's a completely different clip. I can rotate it. I can actually rotate this 90 degrees like that. And it looks completely different. Let's play that through. Or let's take that off back to zero. Or I can re I can rescale it to give me the exact, the basically the exact effect of that, that I'm looking for. So you have ultimate, ultimate play here, ultimate reposition, ultimate scaling. Basically, the, the position of your clip is up to you. So I love that about the 4K footage. Now I'm going to keep this in the 4K, in the HD size, and make all this go back to zero and our scale back to zero. So it looks just like that. Let's play this through. It looks awesome. But maybe we want to add another, another impact light here. Well, why not? Go up here, grab one, drag it down, drop it in. Let's go up and change the blend mode from normal to screen. And we're going to keep it on the HD size. So I'm going to keep it at fill. So let's look at this one. I love that. And this gives a little circle. Do you see that? Like the light circles around. So it works really well with him doing his flip. Maybe I want to move it back just a bit. Again, you can reposition, retime it and all that stuff. So really cool. And that's that, right? So that's super easy. All right, let's keep going. Let's, let's add another impact light to our second clip here. And I've been showing the first two clips were action, right? This impact lights are great for action shots, but they're also great for subtle light movements as well. So like this, this uh, picture here, we have this video here and she's walking through a field. So we can add a nice light to this. I'm just going to go up here. Let's just look at this one. That looks pretty good. Grab it down, drag it. Let's go up. Let's change our view a little bit so you can see it. Change our blend mode from normal to screen. And then I want to use the HD size and let's roll this through and look at that. That's so, so pretty. And that's an impact light on a nice piece of footage. Maybe this is like a, an engagement video or um, a commercial for of some kind. It gives this nice soft hint of, of like the sun, which looks really pretty. Okay. So use it on uh, sports footage. You can use it on wedding footage and we have music footage right here. So we can also use it here. And if we go up here and find a nice clip, oh, well, look, that one looks really good. Grab it, drag it, drop it, change the blend mode from normal to screen, change the fit to fill. If you want to do the 4K size, change this to none. I'm going to keep it on HD. Roll this back. Look at that. And I really like this clip, especially because it actually matches the movement of her shoulders, which is nice. So it's pretty cool. So again, all these different uses of impact lights. You can use it on sports. You can use more than one clip. You can use it on wedding footage and you can even use it on music video stuff. So the possibilities are truly endless. And I wanted to show one more thing back here. You can also stack these. So maybe you wanted to, uh, let's just option drag this. Maybe you wanted to put more than one. You can do that. Rewind that, play that through. It looks kind of cool. So you can, Really, you can do so much with these, these clips. Stack them, play them, do whatever you want, right? So I'm gonna delete that, and that's that. Now you know how to add impact lights to your video content. So please go give them a try and let me know what you think about them.
leave a comment below and share this with your friends. Also, if you don't want to miss the next free effects tutorial, click on that blue R in the bottom corner and subscribe to our channel. We run on love and we love each and every one of you. That's all I have to share today. Hope to see you back real soon. I'm Final Cut Steph from RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.